Hello and welcome to my first tactic video in a long while. Today I'm going to be doing Carlo Ancelotti's 4-3-3 that has been used this season. It has been really effective and has overcome Spurs and West Bromwich Albion. It's a really good system and it's really effective in FIFA 20. Let's start right away with the goalkeeper Pickford. Saving on crosses should be balanced and outside box should be balanced because your players have the recovery pace to come back, that is your defenders. You're going to be uh, playing out from the back so you need him to be really good with his feet which he is. Let's move on to your centre backs. There's nothing much interesting here with um, attacking support being stay back while attacking and interceptions being normal for both. Keane being the left centre back and um, Mina being the right centre back. You can replace Keane with Umtiti. Moving on to the wing backs. Yes, they are wing backs so you need to elevate their position. It's going to be Coleman and Dini in this case. Attacking runs on join the attack, interceptions on normal and run type should be overlap because they will be providing all the width to your narrow attack. So your attack has um, more sharpness and these people provide the width with Dine being an excellent crosser and he will rack up quite a few assists as a wing back. Let's um, see how they uh, line up in games. So Dini and Coleman, you can see them making runs inside as the attack is narrow. Next is the central defensive midfielder, Alan. Alan is a really good and proper central defensive midfielder who bids stability to wherever he is on the pitch. Attacking support to be on stay back, defensive behavior man mark which is best for defensive midfielders, defensive position, cover center and aggressive interceptions because he has a lot of stamina and aggressive interceptions will reduce that a bit and will make use of the stamina in a better way. You can also see Alan and Gomez dropping back while Dukure moves forward. So to your central midfielders which is interesting. Dukure on balanced attack, cover wing, aggressive interceptions, stick to position and stay of the box. Dukure on balanced attack because he's the one who moves forward out of the three midfielders and he provides width. You can see in the pictures like how he's moving forward while Gomez and Alan stay back and provide a bit more stability. And that brings us to Gomez, stay back on attack, cover wing, normal interceptions, stick to position and stay in edge of box. So we've already seen why he stays back but you need both on cover wing because your wing backs are going to move forward and you need some defensive cover or else your um, team will be exposed to the back and you are prone to conceding goals. Next to our right attacking midfielder Hamas Rodriguez, the creator in chief. Instead of having him as a right wing, make him as a right attacking midfielder which stay forward conservative interceptions stick to position and stay on edge of box he's um, criminally underrated 84 he is without a doubt underrated and deserves a higher rating in fifa so um, let's see 84 rated hamas rodriguez moving on your left wing richarlison he forms a formidable front three with hamas rodriguez calvert lewin um, and is really deadly so you have him on cut inside basic defensive support aggressive interceptions get into the box and get in behind are all his instructions so um, with that he's going to become an inside forward and is really effective let's move on to the striker who's calvert lewin his attack and run should be a target man he's really good in the air so you make use of that defensive support should be on stay forward interception should be aggressive again he has stamina and you have to use it support runs should be on say stay central and on fifa 20 overall is 79 which is low tactic should be defensive style pressure on heavy touch with five bars and depth eight bars they do play a really high line which i'll be showing to you in this picture you can see how their defensive line plays and that's really good so let's move on to offensive which is offensive style is possession which is of course they had 62 percent possession i think 72 percent versus west Brom with four bars and players in box four bars so um, they had 72 percent versus west Brom possession which is really good so you have it on possession corner and free kicks i say it always i'll say it once again Always have it on 4 bars. So corners and play kicks, 4 bars. Let's move on to gameplay. We're going to be playing against Arsenal because they are a team which can counter our wing backs who move forward. Let's start. To Kure, you can see Hamas Rodriguez moving in field like he does. He's going to pass it to Dini like he always does in the games. 
and they go to Dukure to Hamas Rodriguez. Now you can see Hamas's position and you can see Coleman in the bottom of his screen running. The Charleston trying to shoot and Calvert Lewin goal. So that's our first goal. You can see how we created a long ball from DNA from the defensive line. It was a low long ball. I'm gonna try to cross it to Hamas. Oh, David Lewis being David Lewis and Calvert Lewin scores. So what I tried to do was pass it to Hamas was up front from a long ball. But of course. David Lewis became David Lewis and um, we scored. Andre Gomez passing it to Coleman. You can see the amount of space that Coleman has to run into. He can cross. He's not a great crosser, but of course, if that cross reached, you know, Calvert Lewin is going to score. This is how I'm building up from the back. You can just see Alan, Andre Gomez. So, um, back to Dinia. I just build it up till the half line, and we can see Dukure, of course, being ahead of all of them. Coleman finding space in the right wing to Hamas Rodriguez releases. I'll try to call it in and Hamas Rodriguez. Great goal. You can see from the starting how they called it in. This is how they play. Um, this is how we played. So we can say that this works in game and this is really accurate. So um, let's go on to the stats for the game. We had 59% possession versus Arsenal's 41, which is really good considering Arsenal have Europa League football and we finished 12th in the league. This season it's going to be better. And that brings us to the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked today's video. Um, like, like this video, subscribe for more of this kind of content. And um, if you are asking how good this works in game, I'd give it a B, which is um, 80% because it's a really good system. But however, it leaves a high line which will make you vulnerable. So um, this is going to be my next video, what makes Zaha special. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more great football content.